Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking website using Tailblocks and Dreamweaver. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we have to worry about our organization. We need to have one folder which is called our website folder and inside the website folder we need to have all of our images and this is where we are also going to save our HTML document. We then need to create our first HTML document and we're just going to give it a title. You can call it whatever you like. This file is going to be called index.html and it will be in the root of your directory that you've saved either on your hard drive or wherever. So anyways, so now what we have is we have this website which is called tailblocks.cc and basically what it is is just chunks of code and all you need to do is to find the code that you want you can just go uh, and click on view code and then it will show you the whole code and you can actually press on the button copy to clipboard and all you have to do is paste this into your already HTML document. And for this, we're going to look at creating a header and I'm just going to dump that into my uh, Dreamweaver file. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to save this as our index.html file. This will be the main homepage for our website. Once we've done that, then I'm just going to preview it. Now, this big um, icon pops up, which basically means that it's not connected to the Tailwind CSS. So an easy way around this is to go to tailwind.css and then you can actually grab this link from the installation page. And basically that is looking up the style sheet online. This is not the best way to do things, but just for speed, it's, uh, it's very good to get something up and going very, very quickly. So anyways, now what you can do is you can start to change some of the settings inside the classes or inside the, the code as well. So for example, if you want to change the text color, you can change it from gray to white, whatever. The first thing that we need to do is we need to insert an image and I'm going to run our IMG SRC code and I'm going to make sure that the image that I have is in my images folder. You can see that this image is clearly too big so I need to add the width and height uh, tags to this. So I'm just going to bring it down to size 38. You don't really need the height but you might as well just do it for good practice. And so now we've got our custom logo put in there. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to change the heading. And now there are different levels of headings that you can change the font to. You can actually change the font if you want, but if you just want to change the size, you can change this XL to 2XL, 3XL, 4XL, etc. And you can go even smaller than that if you like. So play around with some of those settings. The next thing that we need to do is we need to actually create links. So to create a link, we need our code, which is ahref, and then we need to direct it to our index.html uh, file and this will be for our home page and you can see when I hover over it the actual icon turns into a hand. So the next links are going to be the gallery and also the contact us page. Now we haven't created the gallery.html so the link won't work just now but we will create it in a short amount of time. And the final link is just going to be an external link. So I'm just going to link this to YouTube and it's the same way, A-H-R-E-F. And then you have to put the URL of where you want to link that link to. So I've just gotten rid of the last little uh, button because we don't need it. And now we've got a really nice header which we are going to copy for the next couple of pages. So now I'm going to go back into tail blocks and I'm going to go and choose another section. You can choose any section that you've like. I'm just going to choose a, a content section and I'm just going to paste this underneath the header. And so now again, we've got this like, you know, template that's already ready to go. Everything that's in white on our Dreamweaver basically means that it's text that appears on our site and so we can change that directly. So as soon as you change that to the online learning space, you can see that it changes automatically in the preview. And so now all I'm going to do is just change and just add my own text. You can honestly write whatever you like and where they have the placeholders for the pictures, that's where we can put all of our images as well. 
So all we have to do to put our images in is just change the location. Now, again, I cannot stress enough. You cannot just have these images in desktop or wherever. They have to be in the images folder within your website folder. You have to learn to organize your files because if you don't, then it would just become such a headache later on when you're trying to get things to work properly. So there we have it. There I've got those four pictures and I've put it all in and now I'm going back to tail blocks and I'm just going to add some more stuff. I'm just going to add a footer. And by the way, in tail blocks, you can change the color to whatever you like. I'm in night mode here, but you can change it to light mode as well, whatever you like. Anyways, for the footer, all I'm going to do is paste it underneath the content that I've just created. And so you can see that the footer automatically appears at the bottom of the website. So again, everything that says tail blocks that is not yours, you can go and change it. It's very simple to change. Anything that's white, you know, it's not really even code. So it doesn't really matter what you write in there. We are going to add the picture. So instead of writing the code again, I'm just going to go back to the top of my document and get my IMG SRC tag, or you could write it again. Um, and so there the logo is right at the bottom next to that uh, footer. And then I'm just going to change a little bit more of the text on the footer just to match the rest of the website. Now there are links on the right hand side of the footer. And if you want to turn them into real links, you can just go and do that by doing the same method that you did earlier with the header navigation. So I'm, I'm going to skip that, but if you want to go and do that, you can. But anyways, once you preview that, you know, it's looking pretty cool. It's a, it's all responsive. So, you know, you can make it bigger and smaller and it will all kind of shrink in, which is excellent. That's how we want to make these websites. So the last thing that I'm going to add is I'm just going to add a little bit more content and I'm just going to dump this somewhere in my document. I'll probably put it on top of the stuff that we've uh, just uh, put in. And again, you know, it gives two little buttons and another placeholder for an image and some text. So it's very quick to just change out the white text. You can write honestly, whatever you like. And then we will change out the pictures as well. Now, like I was saying before, um, this is a responsive website. So that means that this view that we're looking at here is made to shrink. But when I go and open that back up again, you will see that it all kind of uh, expands and that's it's pretty good. And so anyways, going back into what we're doing here is I'm just writing some text. I've gotten rid of the buttons because I don't really need the buttons. And then I'm just changing the IMG SRC tag and I'm putting my own pictures in there. So you can see all my pictures are organized and bang, it just goes in just like that and it goes into the size that was the placeholder already. So once I've done that, I'm just going to copy the, the front half of this code and then I'm just going to create a new document and I'm going to save this as the gallery.html. And so this is going to be our second page. Now you really have to get the spelling right. What you put in the header, you have to make sure on all your pages, they're exactly the same. Otherwise it just will not work. So once I've got that code, I can test out the links to see if they work and they do work fine. So now all I'm going to do is go back to tail blocks and I'm going to grab the gallery. But before that, I'm just going to grab the footer and all the work that I did on that first page. And then I'm going to go back to tail blocks and I'm just going to find the gallery section. And there are a few different styles that you can choose from. I'm just going to pick one here. It's just got probably about six pictures. I'm just going to copy that and paste it in between the header and the footer. And once I do that, all I need to do is just update the pictures. So there's a little bit of text uh, that you need to change. And so you can do that like, you know, fairly simply and quickly. But then the other thing that you need to change is you need to change all of the pictures. So again, it's the same process. You need to find the SRC tags and then update them to your own stuff that's on or that's inside of your root directory for your website. So you can see here that, you know, I'm just writing some text and it updates, you know, pretty nicely on the right hand side. 
And then once I'm happy with that, you can see that Dreamweaver is pretty much doing all of the work. All I have to do is just pretty much write images and it already knows, it knows that that's the root directory for all the images. And then all I have to do is just select them in there. It's much easier when you let the program do the work for you rather than retyping all of this out yourself. But anyways, there's the gallery and that's looking pretty good. So we're just going to save that and then repeat the process again for the contact page. Now again, there are templates ready to go in Tailblocks. So the first thing that we need is we need to have the header and we're just going to paste that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the contact section inside of uh, Tailblocks. And you can, again, you can use whichever one that you like. I've just picked the first one. It has a nice uh, Google Maps uh, background, which is kind of faded out, which is nice. So I've just cut and paste the code in there. And then I'm just going to go to the bottom and add the footer just like I did on the gallery page. So once I've got the header, the contact and the footer, the next thing that I'll need to do is I'll need to save that and I need to save it as contact.html and if you've done that correctly and all everything lines up then you will be able to go from each page on your website backwards and forwards. Now the first thing is we would need to change this, uh, this Google map background. Right now it's set to somewhere in Turkey. So what we need to do is I just went to Google Maps and I just wrote, you know, any kind of train station that's close by. And I've just got the code, the embed code, and I'm going to paste it in. Now this is an iframe code and we don't really need the iframe values. All we need is the stuff that's in between the quotation marks. So I'm just going to cut that and then paste it within the quotation marks which with the stuff that's already there. So I'm just going to get rid of the iframe stuff because we don't need it. And then as soon as you do that, you can see that we've updated it to somewhere in Australia. So now the final thing that we need to do is we just need to change the text and um, and then maybe get this button to work. Now because we're not, you know, hosting all the Tailwind stuff like this button, you need a little bit more code to actually get it to work and you need hosting and things like that. So the easiest way to get this to work without any of that is to just simply have a mail to tag. And all we are going to be doing is like when you click that button, it will just, you know, open up your, you know, email um, application and then it will just act like you, you're going to send an email. So it's not really a button, it's just another link. So I can see here that the email button is working and again, it's the same code, it's just A-H-R-E-F, but then we equals mail to and then we can put our web address in there. So anyways, I'm just playing around a little bit with the color, I'm changing it from indigo to pink and um, I'm going to keep it consistent with the rest of the site. And then when I open that up and if I click on all of the other sections, now YouTube won't work because it's not really connected to the internet, but all of your other internal links, you know, you can go backwards and forwards and it would all work nicely. So anyways, guys, that's about it. That's how do we create a simple website using Tailblocks and Dreamweaver. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.